Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to work on paper forms. So I have created a almond nails with some nail arts using paper forms. So that's what we are going to do today. So before I start with the video, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, all those good things. Okay, now let's begin with the video. So here uh, I have already uh, done my dry manicure off camera because I had some extensions on so I removed and I did the dry manicure off camera. But if you wanted to learn how to do dry manicure feel free to check out any other video on my channel. I have a specific video on Russian manicure. You can check that video I'll leave the links in the description box. So what I did right now is to apply dehydrator because after doing the dry manicure we clean the nail plate and then we apply the dehydrator to make sure that there is no oil moisture or anything on the nail plate okay after that i'm applying a primer this is a acid free primer from the brand called model once you can use any uh, uh, brand's primer and dehydrator and next i'm, uh, I'm pouring some monomer onto my dip and dish uh, using a dropper you can also use your brush to you know kind of pour the monomer onto your uh, dip and dish and after that it's time for us to start with the foam fitting so i'm using a paper foam as you have seen i peeled off the sticker from the behind and then i attached that small piece behind and then i opened it with a small scissor you can also pull it from your fingers only but i prefer using a scissor uh, because it gives me a clean cut and i don't touch the glue part so much okay after that you can just put your forms like this and then you are going to close it since we are going to do an almond shape so so here uh, I kind of pinch the tip of the foam a little tighter if you see it's a pointy uh, edge right and if you want you can close it a little bit more since I'm doing the thumb I didn't want uh, the foam to be like too tight because then at the corners the growth point it will be like weird okay so that's the reason I did not uh, like uh, press it too hard okay but you can see how pinched the foam is okay after that i'm going to take out a bead uh, so i'm using acrylic powder from mia secret uh, this is kind of a little shimmery uh, cover pink color and the monomer is also from the brand Mia Secret and the brush I'm using is from the brand uh, Cards. It's a Chinese brand uh, number 10 brush is what I'm using. Okay, after placing the bead as you can see I moved it side to side and I made sure the product is connected with my free edge of the natural nails. Okay, once that is done what I'm doing is I'm using my brush to pull the product towards the uh, whatever length I wanted to do since I am going to do an almond shape here if you notice at the corners of the free edge I'm not making it like a square shape I'm kind of keeping it as a semi circle or round type okay so don't worry if you're not getting a completely like perfect almond shape here but just make sure that you have like enough product here uh, because if not then obviously whatever length client one you will end up with shorter nails so just ask how much length they want so as you can see the black color the black line on the foam there we have some numbers some forms may have it on the sides but this one has on the center so you can so now if you see i'm between four and five so this way you can uh, measure your other fingers also uh, where you have to like kind of pose your length okay so once you keep as a um, trace then you will have like similar length nails on all your fingers okay so i picked up another bead and then i blended it with the first bead because sometimes when you use the forms you end up with like little thinner uh, free edge so you can take another bead and then add it add the thickness now second bead i placed it on the natural nails at the kind of center moved it side to side and then i'm going to blend it now if you see whichever bead i'm taking and releasing the bead is not running anywhere okay so that means you have a good liquid powder ratio if not what will happen the moment you release the bead it's just going to go all over the places okay so to avoid that you need to practice on your liquid powder consistency 
okay so now it's time for us to apply the cuticle bead so just see how i pressed and released that bead and then i'm going to use the brush to uh, like ki kind of like slightly slide to the corners of the nail and as soon as i reach those corners i'm going to immediately blend it and then i'm going to blend the center area so when you blend the center area of your cuticle bead make sure you are not pressing too hard but if you do that then you will end up with a flat apex okay so then you have to go back and rebuild the apex once the cuticle is done then if you are going to go back and redo the you know apex height then it might end up with like a very weird finish and then you have to do like a lot of filing so after application i just checked it from the side angle so now if you see i have like a little less thickness around the center area so i picked up another bead put it right where i wanted and then i'm going to just blend it uh, with uh, my free edge because i just wanted to build up a little thickness here once this is done then we are done with the product application after product application remove the forms uh, just by pinching it and then you can start your filing and shaping for filing and shaping i'm using a 100 180 grit hand file so i'm starting with my free edge as you can see i'm using the 180 grit side because i just how to gently like do a rough filing here so both the corners i made sure whatever uh, you know um, imperfection i have over there i just buffed it buffed it and then i'm just gently shaping the almond here okay so whenever you are shaping the almond just make sure you are not putting too much pressure because if you like make one wrong move your shape is gone okay so just be very careful uh, in my opinion it's a personal opinion almond nails are the hardest to like file because uh, when you think that okay this is done and when you turn it and see then it's like one side is a little off and then you try to fix it and then you come back and the other side is gone okay So here uh, now I'm going to file the surface side. So what I did here is I just uh, divided it into four different areas. I'm going to start from the number one area, which is our cuticle area. So as you can see how I'm holding my fingers, and uh, since it's close to cuticle, you can. Uh, start with a uh, slow movement uh, since it's my own hands and i know how to have file my hands so i'm going faster but when you are doing another uh, like a client's nails then you have to be little careful not to hit their skin okay so i started with one and two number first and then i finished it towards the center and then turn the finger and then i'm going to file again from the outside to the inside okay and then 3 uh, and 4 i finish uh, filing and then i will see if there is any imperfection if yes then i'll obviously go back and file it again and uh, uh, so now we what we did 1 and 2 we started when we did then we did 3 and 4 and then the center area so both the filing will connect reach the center area and then you use your file to just gently bend blend both the zones and then you will have like a really perfect uh, you know shape on your nails okay so if you follow this technique you will have like a really nice finished your extensions okay so now i am looking from the side angle so if you see my apex height is a little extra and the free edge is also like uh, there is like a kind of a dent at the center the free edge is also little on the higher side apex is also on the a little on the higher side so i'm going back and i'm filing and leveling it so now if you see that does a perfect shape okay so with that we have done buffing filing shaping everything is completed we also clean the nails next is uh, nail art time so for the nail art i'm using a uh, jelly polish from the brand called canny so first i'm going to start applying a thin layer onto my nails and then i'm going to cure it so as you can see this is a orangish jelly color so jelly color means it doesn't have like opacity much opacity it's a translucent finish uh, polishes okay so i'm just applying it and then i'm going to cure it after curing it i have this brush nail art brush here and i also have a pot gel or a gel paint here that is white color and i uh, started like taking out the white color on my brush and then i am just making sure that my brush is packed with the white polish and then i'm going to draw some petals okay these are like very easy to do so first you just press 
the tip of your brush and then dra drag it towards the end and then just lift it okay see you have a beautiful petal here so this way we are going to continue and create like a bunch of like five six petals and then we are going to cure it okay so you can create any kind of designs not necessarily from the way i'm doing here sidewise you can also draw the flowers at the center of your nails that's totally fine but this is a technique uh, that i really love doing and uh, it's actually very um satisfying to do i mean it's like a therapeutic experience for me i uh, when i was just practicing it i uh, kind of like got into this and i don't know how many times i created this with like different different colors and different different petals which is a very satisfying thing to do and uh, after curing it then uh, i am again applying the jelly color so as you can see here i applied the petals twice so first i did the petals and then i cured it and i applied a jelly color again then i added more petals in between and then cured it and then again applied jelly color and also added some uh, golden glitters at the center and finally i applied a bit of cuticle oil because i am applying too much here because i just soaked off some nails so i wanted my skin to be really moisture uh so that's why we are adding so much cuticle oil here okay so with that this is the final look i totally loved it don't worry about the design i'm going to post a short video on how i did this so i'll have like a full detail video um so with that uh, this video ends here and i hope you guys like this video if you like this video don't forget to like comment share and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on the notification i'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy thank you for watching